Welcome everybody, I'm Britta Dimmler and thank you for joining us for supplements. Um, this is just a 101 kind of basic overview of supplements, why we need them. And then I'm just gonna talk about a few Young Living products that are really, really important to our health and wellness, okay? So um, one of the things I think, first of all, we have to think about is how do we take care of ourselves? We, um, as, as most of us are moms down here, you might be a dad too, or you might just even be a single person and you're, you know, we get so busy and wrapped up in our, in our busyness of life that we are we taking care of everybody else we forget to start taking care of us um and when that get when we forget us and what our basic needs are or to really you know pay attention you know maybe it's i'm so busy i don't exercise or i don't really eat well i just eat the leftovers that i'm you know serving everybody else or whatever um then we get shorted and then when we're shorted everybody else really gets shorted um, in the in the long run of things. So we are talking about holistic health and young living really is a lifestyle. And it's a lifestyle process of, you know, adding some things in, trying it out, seeing how it fits, and then we can make adjustments as needed. So um, tonight we're going to talk about, like I said, about supplements, and this is going to cover for the family. A um, couple, you know, things we need to do. We need to obviously Okay, um, let's see, work out, uh, working out, just getting some exercise, even if it's just walking for 30 minutes. Um, walking can improve your mood. Research shows that regular walking modifies your nervous system so much that you experience a decrease in anger and hostility. Well, I don't know about you, but I think there's a lot of people that need to start walking more because unfortunately in today's world, there is a lot of anger and hostility happening and there's not much discussion. So just think about if people, you know, when you're out for a walk, usually as I pass people, I smile at them. I say, hello, my dogs, I'm usually walking my two big dogs and, and they might be like, you know, lunging or not, they don't lunge, but you know, kind of they're intimidating and people will often kind of get their big eyes and I, and I just, you know, laugh and, and it's just a whole different atmosphere, right? So walking can help you. It can help other people around you. Um, movement helps you lose weight. It can um, increase your body's response to insulin and reduce belly fat just by walking 10,000 steps a day. So a lot of people wear that little uh, Fitbit or whatever. Um, it can really, that can help you be accountable if you, if you have one or can wear one. Walking can reduce your risk of chronic disease or stroke by as much as 40% can reduce 30% by for heart disease and up to 75% for some types of cancer. We're talking just basic walking, okay? This isn't speed walking or running, 30 minutes of walking. It also helps lower your blood sugar levels and overall risk for diabetes. It can delay the onset of varicose veins. Uh, as you age, the venous system or venous system, sorry, uh, becomes known as a second heart, trying to push the blood up from your feet. Walking eases swelling in the legs and can delay the onset of new varicose veins. Isn't that a big thing? If you are having those issues, vein issues, I would really highly recommend lemongrass diluted, just rubbing it on your veins. Maybe try some cypress or aroma life to get the circulation moving as well. Okay, those are essential oils. So that's a little bonus you get for listening to this class. Um, walking can help you improve your digestion and bowel function. Uh, goals may seem more reachable. Walking can alleviate joint pain. Now you might think, uh, no, my joints hurt. And when I walk, they hurt. Well, you're never going to overcome that if you don't start moving, right? Um, so a study in the Journal of American Geriatric Society showed that adults between the age of 70 and 90 who left the house and were physically active lived longer than those who didn't and walking can help you sleep better at night, okay? So it's amazing what a deliberate, but even short walk can do for you daily. And that is really true. So the other aspect, you know, I think we, we all need to do some kind of meditation or prayer and really just kind of um, get ourselves centered. Um, if you think, well, that's not, neither one of those are my thing, just go outside. And here's a, an easy way that you can walk. Um, it's just walk around your house on the grass, okay? And get grounded. So even if you're in the city, go find some grass. Ideally, you can take off your shoes and socks and walk barefoot on the ground and really feel that connection with the earth 
um, and the energy of the earth and you. And when it comes into um, movement and it moves together, you're just going to feel more calm and relaxed. Okay. And then the third piece of, a, of, you know, kind of this little puzzle that we of our life right now is supplementation. So supplements are really common in today's world. You see them lining shelves at pretty much any kind of a store by the hundreds, but they're rarely found in family budgets. Or we may only say, well, okay, I'm gonna spend $20 on all my supplements. So we settle for the stuff at the store, at the you know basic, very basic convenience store, um, which isn't the best quality, okay? So there's a belief system that some of us have that supplements aren't needed or that we can get all of our nutrition from our food, okay? So let's talk about that before we dive into actually um, some supplements that Young Living offers. We're gonna, um, so can you get what you need from your food? Unfortunately, not anymore. Uh, the food that was created when God created the earth is not the food that's being grown now. I think most of us know that, okay? But in case you're like, well, but Britta, is it really that bad? Well, food is damaged after re being repeatedly grown on the same soil depleted land and land that's sprayed with pesticides and fertilizers. So I am here in central Iowa. I grew up on, you know, on a farm. My dad didn't, wasn't, didn't actually farm the land, but he sold the sprayers and the chemicals to the farmers so that they can spray it on the land, right? So I grew up around that environment and breathing in those chemicals and not even thinking about at the time what it was doing to the soil, what it does to the plants or even what it would do to my body. A few years ago, Kirk and I were driving um, past some cornfields and he said, we were talking about how tall the corn was. And he said, but have you noticed there are no deer in that field? The deer don't eat the, eat the corn and the beans anymore. And I was like, well, of course they do. And he said, Britta, they don't because the, de the animals know there's no nutrition in that, okay? If it's a Roundup ready seed, <laughs> It means that you can spray Roundup on it, which is a chemical and a weed killer, right? And it doesn't damage the plant. Okay, there's something wrong with that when you think about it in those aspects, right? That, okay, it, so the deer won't eat it, but I will? Oh, now stuff like those kinds of realizations, they've taken me a long time to get to. My husband has often told me things over and over and over again. And all of a sudden the light bulb goes off and I'm like, oh my gosh, I get it. Like, did you know this? And he's like, mm -hmm. yep, I did. So but that, and this may be you tonight. Okay. And that's fine. Wherever you are, I just, I'm not trying to convince you of this. I just want you to think about it and, and just see could this be true? Okay. And you can certainly go and research it yourself. Um, almost 80% of all corn grown in the U S is made is from genetically modified seeds. And this, you know, when they grow the corn that way, it affects any product that has corn in it. Okay. So think about corn syrup, corn flakes, corn tortillas, corn, you know, anything that has corn in it. And we really don't know what that does to the, to the, uh, our DNA or our human body. So that's the first part. Okay. Is all the stuff we're putting on the land. We let's talk about nutrients because some of us go, okay, well, I can't get it, uh, maybe from, from the crops, but I can get it, um, you know, from, well, I'd rather eat meat anyways, right? I'll just eat meat instead. Of, well, or no, I won't eat meat. I'll eat salads because salad is good stuff. I can grow that. Um, Akushi Institute analysis of nutrient data from 1975 to 1997. So this is 22 years. And this is, you know, quite, this is what, 24 years ago, found average calcium levels in 12 fresh vegetables dropped 27%, okay, in those 22 years. And again, this is 24 years ago. So can you imagine what it is today? Our land hasn't gotten better. Iron levels dropped to 30% and vitamin C in those 12 fresh vegetables dropped 30%. Potassium lost 14%, which means that you would have to eat in 1997, eight oranges to get the same amount of vitamin A that your grandparents got. So think about here we are 24 years later, that eight oranges may now be double. I don't know. Um, but that's kind of, again, a scary realization when we start to really think about what's changed. So in our essential, the first edition of the essential oil desk reference, our founder, Gary Young, had a standard for growing the plants. And he's, he said, 
quote, the key to preserving therapeutic oil is to preserve as many of the delicate aromatic compounds as possible. Fragile aromatic compounds are easily destroyed by high temperature and pressure, as well as contact with chemically reactive metals such as copper or aluminum. This is why all of our oils are distilled in stainless steel cooking chambers at low pressure and low temperature. The plant material should be grown on virgin land free of pesticides, herbicides, and other agrochemicals. And Gary was really um, specific about that. And those standards still apply and are in effect today, okay? And I, I've been to a lot of those farms. I absolutely can testify to that. Um, the, so having that grown on the plant, on the virgin land, can um, these can react with the essential oil during distillation to produce toxic chemical, oh, the, the chemicals, um, if it's pesticides or herbicides, agrochemicals, they can react with the essential oil during distillation to produce toxic chemicals. No matter how costly pure essential oils may be, there can be no substitutes. And isn't that a powerful statement, right? Um, to know that if I have a bottle of oil, what's in this, this is tea tree, that this is the best quality of tea tree that he can find, okay, and of Melaleuca. That's, that's powerful. So oils, why it's important, oils are in every Young Living supplement we have, except for maybe a couple. But most, 95% of our supplements, have essential oils in them. The oils actually help them be, be, help the supplement or help your body absorb more of the supplement, okay, which is a really good thing. So that means we get more bang for our buck. Knowing where those oils are sourced and how they are grown is critical to understanding why Young Living supplements are different from the supplements found in your grocery store. Our oils and products are authentic and held, hold their to their um, seed to seals premium standard. So we've kind of already talked about this, but even with meat, animals, you know, the, the food that they're eating, the way that the animals are grown, they're often malnourished. They're not, or they're not really absorbing the good nutrition from the food that they have. Um, and then even water is depleted of minerals because the plant of plants and modern production methods there. Are, <laughs> and for water, we have to also think about our, our town filtration systems. Okay, many of these remove important minerals like magnesium, which is essential for 300 biochemical reactions in the body. In addition to that, they use uh, chlorine and fluoride to sanitize public drinking water. You might think those that's a good thing. In actuality, both of those wreak havoc on your gut and on your hormones and damage the enamel on your teeth. And there are, there are over 30 uh, Canadian municipalities that have banned fluoride in the water and only four European countries back fluoride on a national scale. And Germany, the Netherlands and Sweden have purposely discontinued it for safety reasons. Okay, so think about that. Overseas and in, in, in Europe, they're saying, nope, not gonna have it. Here in the US, oh, let's put it in our drinking water. Let's give it to our kids at the... Okay, so I'm going to talk about teeth in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Join me for that class and we'll talk more about this. All right, so um, then to top it all off, as if pork, soil, chemical sprays, nutrient depleted meat, and poisoned water aren't enough working against you, our nutrient absorption also declines with age. The older we get, the less nutrients we absorb. By the time you're 40, you're absorbing a fraction of what you were at 20. Nutrient deficiencies hurt your performance, cause DNA damage and make you age faster and cause chronic disease. So what do we have to do? You guys, we have to start supplementing, okay? And um, we're gonna talk about four different supplements um, for sure that, that you, if you're not using anything yet, you choose one of these, okay? And use them and then see how you feel. And then you can add in the next one or the, and the next one. So let me ask you a few questions first and then see if you feel like you need this, okay? Do you often feel tired or feel like you can't shake the feeling of brain fog or malice? Do you seem to never feel rested even though you sleep? Do you find yourself with skin issues, weight issues, maybe hormone issues, sleep issues, um, unexplained pain or swelling, any, if there's a yes to any of those, you need to supplement. Okay. And I would say probably 99 to hundred percent of us need to supplement. Um, 
So let's talk about supplementing or supplements are not about curing disease. And I think that's a, this is a powerful statement. We're not trying to cure disease through this. Supplements are about supporting the body so it can do what it was created to do. Your body knows how to heal itself. You just need to make sure it has the tools, the antioxidants, the probiotics, other things that it needs to be strong enough to fight. Okay. So it's about supporting the body so it can do what it was created to do. There are a couple of different types of supplements out there and we can use them to detox our system and clean everything out. Or you can use them for targeted support, like liver support or support for handling day-to-day -day life. Um, and our goal is to help you feel good. Okay. So four, again, four supplements that are kind of like the core four. If you imagine that um, you're going to make a table, build a table, it takes four legs to make it really firm and that foundation strong, right? So these are, these are four different ones that you could, um, you could do. Um, okay. So, and if you can start, like I said, with one, that's awesome. If you can do two or three, you can try it. But again, you probably want to start with just one at a time so that you can let your body build up to it and get into a routine of taking them. By starting one at a time, then you also realize, or you, you can start um, identifying, oh my, you know, I feel more energetic. I feel less achy. My brain feels more awake. I am able to function. I'm able to handle stress better today. I didn't go off the handle when normally I would have. Okay, all of those are good things but if I started out and took five supplements all at once, I wouldn't know which one was really making a difference. So starting with one is a good thing. And then you can, add, you can add on. So, okay. We're going to talk about four. You ready? Essential zymes or enzymes. We have to have enzymes. That's about breaking down what you're eating. So your body can pull the most out of it. And I'm going to give you a little more information on each of these in just a minute. So if a piece of food goes through your gut without being broken down, you're not getting nutrients, okay? It's just going through your system and you're wasting your money. We need some kind of omegas that helps keep everything oiled and working well. It's like the grease for your body and helps everything to communicate. We need probiotics. Um, your, our immune system needs support. And, or if your immune system needs support, you need to start here. Our gut is actually where our immune system starts, okay? Most of gut health issues stem from either not getting enough good things in and taking antibiotics that kill all the soldiers that you have left to fight. So we want to repopulate the good bacteria, the good soldiers in our gut so that it can fight off whatever's coming through. And then we need antioxidants. So antioxidants fight free radicals that wreak havoc in the body. And we have a um, antioxidant supplement that wipes the cell doors clean so that the cells can receive the right information. And it has every amino acid you need in a span of 24 hours. That's huge, okay? So there's others, um, some other supplements that we'll talk about as well. Um, and, and I'll give you a little overview of kids supplements too at the end. All right, so let's talk about uh, enzymes first, okay? Enzymes do a lot of things. Um, and we actually have a whole class just on enzymes that we to talk about how each one breaks things down that you can, I've done it before. We can do, we'll do it again, but in a nutshell, you are what you eat unless you don't break it down. If you don't break it down, you don't get any nutrient nutrients. And that's one of the large functions of an enzyme. So what's the point of eating a salad? If you don't break down the spinach, just I mean, we might as well just eat M&Ms, right? <laughs> Which, although it might taste good initially, it's not going to be good for our body overall. But if we don't, if our body isn't able to break down the spinach that we kind of sometimes have to force feed ourselves to take in, it's, it's not doing us any good either. So we want to make sure that we supplement with enzymes. Essential zyme four, so it comes in a box it, and they come in these little blister packs, okay? And each one of these is, this is a serving, okay? So you take a yellow and a white one. So this contains a half a dozen enzymes and a number of essential oils like cumin, ginger, rosemary, lemongrass, peppermint, tarragon, clove, and fennel. If you know anything about those oils, they are great for the digestive system. They help you break down food. They calm an upset tummy. They um, help things taste a little bit better and help kind of your gut function better overall. These contain uh, pancrea lipase, which contains en enzymes of lipase, protease, and amylase. That supports the breakdown of fats, 
protein, and starch. Okay. All good things because we're probably getting eating those in most foods that we eat. Um, the, they also have an amino acid that helps convert carbohydrates into energy. So if you're feeling even, you know, if you feel lethargic any time, you know, any time during the day, but especially within a, an hour or two after you've eaten, that means that your body is working an overdrive to digest that food and it needs some help. And, you know, let's just start supplementing with enzymes and see if that helps us maybe feel more energetic in the afternoon because my body doesn't have to work as hard. It breaks the food down faster and I have more energy and, um, you know, it can, it can transfer the work of breaking down the food to just giving me energy. Okay. Um, peppermint, fennel, and tarragon promote healthy intestinal function and provide gastrointestinal support, like what we talked about. So you can take these um, I, I think you're supposed to take them before meals, but I usually remember after the meal when I'm feeling really bloated or like I am so full because I probably just ate, you know, like Mexican restaurants. Okay. I don't know why I go to Mexican restaurants. It used to be, or Chinese buffets, right? Because you just eat and eat and eat. And then you're like, oh, I'm so full enzymes to the rescue friends. This is amazing. But if in between meals, you're feeling gassy or bloated still, enzymes to the rescue. If at bedtime, you're just like, oh, you know, I just, I feel okay, but I know I ate late or I just feel like, you know, I might, I just still have, I probably have a lot of food left in my belly, enzymes to the rescue. So you can take these, especially if you've had a lot of protein during the day, um, enzymes are a really great option to do um, really any time of the day or night, but especially at bedtime. Okay, next is omega gyes, and this is a good source of fatty acids, okay? Omega-6 and omega-3s play crucial roles in our body, including growth. They also help with brain function, skin health, hair growth, and metabolism, and this supports joint health and eye health, and it helps the heart, okay? Um, the fish oil and omega gyes, and you can see here it's a capsule, but hopefully, I don't know, if you, can you see the, the liquid in here? Um, so it, it, it's a liquid actually supplement. Um, the fish oil in this is harvested from cold water fish, such as anchovy, mackerel, or sardines, which have a high number, higher number of omegas. And this can, means that you can say you eat anchovies every day without actually eating them, which I say, hallelujah, because I am not a fish eater. I will take them every day in my omegas and be happy about that because then I don't have to eat it. Now, if you've ever taken omegas before from any other company though, and we have, I would burp up that fish oil throughout the day, right? You take it and a couple hours later you're burping. And I don't know about you, I don't like to eat fish anyway. I certainly don't wanna have to taste it again coming back up. So Young Living actually puts essential oils in this to help stabilize that fish oil and you don't burp it up, okay? Um, if, and that's clove, which is a huge, high, high, high antioxidant oil. So it actually helps your, your insides kind of get clean as well. And then it also has um, the benefit of German chamomile, which supports the body's natural response to irritation and injury. The clove, like I said, for immune support and spearmint, which can relieve digestive symptoms. So the purpose of Omega Gize is communication. It helps support the mucosal lining of your organs. And when everything is greased up, it just works better, okay? So um, if, have you ever had your teenager or maybe your spouse not answer their phone? Well, that's super irritating. But so imagine in our body, um, our neurons and electricity in the body work well when they're greased together on the inside or greased well on the inside, right? So if the neurons are shooting a message, to, you know, through the electrical system and I'm telling my hand, to, you know, that it needs to scratch my face, but it's not getting there, I might be thinking my face really itches. I really need my hand up there to scratch it, right? And how irritating we can get when it's like, ah. Oh. Same thing, we want our body to work really well. So Omega Gize, you can think of it as anchovies without the anchovy texture or taste. Yay. All right, so let's talk real quick about the different omegas. So you have omega-3s, like I said, this is a fatty chain um, or fatty acids that contain alpha lin linoleic acid or ALA, an 18 carbon fatty acid that can be converted into EPA and DHA. Now, I don't know how to say those words because so I'm just giving you the initials. You can look it up. 
Um, these are used uh, by the body for energy and EPA and DHA are two fatty acids that more than 90% of Americans are deficient in. So we can get it through here. Omega-3 uh, fats are a crucial part of human cell membranes. They also support heart health and mental health. So if you're feeling like the stress of the world is on you, you might need some um, omegas. They also, omega-3s also support infant brain development, including visual and neurological development. And these fats support the brain. It's been found that those who eat more, more fish tend to have a slower decline in brain function during aging. Some studies show that omegas can improve mental skills like thinking, remembering, and learning. And they can also be calming for kids with hyperactivity. So that's huge, right? Um, and omega-3s help you absorb minerals, which is a good thing. It also contains omega-6s, and these fatty acids are primarily used for energy. They assist with supporting immune health and blood clotting, and they also help with occasional mild stiffness in joints. So you're getting, you know, can you, can you picture how this is all flowing together, right? And it's helping everything in your body. And then omega-9 fatty acids help you process sugar, and they help you increase good cholesterol and decrease bad cholesterol. They help prevent heart attacks and strokes by getting rid of plaque buildup in the arteries. So you get all of those, that goodness in one simple, well, actually, I think you it's two, take two to four capsules twice a day. Um, do not exceed eight capsules per day. So again, you need to muscle test and see, I've always taken two once or twice a day, depending on um, how many times I remember, but recently we muscle tested and I needed three well, I think for a while I was taking three, like three times a day or four times a day. So I was taking more, um, maybe three, three times a day. Um, but now I usually did that. I did that for a while. Then I did three twice a day. Okay. So I muscle tested my body to see what it needed. And now I'm back down to two twice a day. So don't be afraid to adjust it for what your body needs. We also need to talk about probiotics. So that's the third step. And this is life nine. It actually start, um, is in a uh, capsule. So if you can't swallow pills, you can open this up, dump it on your tongue. Uh, it's not gonna get all of it down into your intestine like you if you can swallow the pill, but we do have bacteria in our mouth. And so it can help our help good bacteria start in your mouth, okay? So um, our immune system, like we said, starts in the gut. Um, one hormone, which is serotonin, regulates over 300 functions in the human body. And 90% of that is made in the gut. So if you have a healthy gut, you have a healthy body. And the best way to do that is to make sure that you're supplementing, okay? Life9 contains nine strains of bacteria and 17 billion live cultures. Probiotics um, promote healthy digestion. It supports gut health and it helps maintain normal intestinal function and your immune system. Pre, uh, probiotics support your heart. They also work to reduce the severity of certain allergies and skin issues. They assist with digestion, provide immune support, as well as support a healthy weight. And probiotics are also good for your mental health. Um, so most people will take this right before bedtime and let it work all night long. Your body does the bulk of the fixing and the detoxing and the cleansing while you are asleep. So Life9 is especially uh, designed with time release capsules so you get it when you need it. And probiotics are one of the most important things you can do for a full system support. Now, they do recommend that once you open it, okay, and you can see this, this lid is different than our regular capsule lids um, because even this other black one, this is plastic. The uh, Life9 lid is actually a, um, a form of metal. I can't remember what kind, but it helps keep things sealed in here. So they say, once you open it, you should store it in the refrigerator, but I forget to take it then. So I still will dump some of my Life9 in my supplement. This is all of our, um, a lot of our supplements that my husband and I take. And I still dump some, at least some of them in here, because if it's in my container, I'm going to remember to take it. If it's sitting in my fridge, even though all the bacteria might be protected, if I forget it, it's not doing me any good, right? So it's more important to get it in your body than it is to, in my opinion, to leave it in the fridge and not use it. All right, we also need antioxidants and hopefully you knew this one was coming. So this is Ningxia Red, right? We have a bottle of it, we have packets of it. So if frankincense is the king of oils, Ningxia is the king of supplements. If you're um, not sure where to start, you know, and you're like, you look at the list and think, I don't even know, 
this would be the, the place that I would start. So one ounce of Ningxia red is, equals two pounds of wolf berries, which is the wolf berry that makes the juice. It, you'll see that on the packet here, the little berry. So you get two pounds in one ounce. That's, that's a really, really concentrated juice. Um, so seven reasons that Ningxia is so amazing to your body is antioxidants. Um, where, when we are concentrating the goodness from the berry, Ningxia has an antioxidant or ORAC scale of 27,300 which is really high, okay? Blueberries, a lot of people talk about blueberries being so good for you, which just has blueberry juice in it as well. Blueberry ORAC scale is 3,000. So that's nine times in the Ningxia wolfberry. Um, reason two is because of what it does to the gut, um, converting acid to alkaline. When you can keep your pH neutral, you inhibit the growth of things you don't want in your body. And wolfberry goes into the stomach and breaks down as an acid, but it immediately converts back to alkaline. That's huge. And only one other food on the planet does that, and that would be lemons, okay? Number three is you have constant exposure to free radicals in the air, the stuff that we eat, et cetera. They are the army guys on the wrong side of the team. You outnumber the army with antioxidants, which battle free radicals. Each cell in your body survives 10,000 free radical attacks a day. Wow. And we thought we had it rough, right? Um, so Ningxia is a powerhouse designed to assist the body in fighting those attacks. Vitamin, mineral pairs, that's number four. So minerals have to be balanced correctly. Too much calcium will result in a zinc deficiency. Too much zinc suppresses immunity and leads to anemia. The, wolf, the Ningxia wolfberry is without equal in the plant kingdom with magnesium to calcium ratios of one to one, zinc to copper of two to one, and potassium to magnesium eight to one. So it's exactly what the body needs in, in proportion. And it's a, a macronutrient. That means you're getting whole nutrition from a plant, not a synthetic source. It's actually food-based and because it's a liquid, it's easily available to the body. And I want you to see the difference here in the color, right? This is actually the wolfberry puree. And you can see my bottle isn't not full, but this is the puree down here. It's a full wolfberry. It's the skin, the seed, everything, and, and the juice. And then the rest of it is, is the other good juices that we put in it, like blueberry and aronia and um, cherry. And uh, I can't remember what else. So when you get when you get it, you want to gently mix it, whether it's in the bottle and you see that it's all mixed together now. OK, but if it's truly like a good if the puree is still there and it's true puree, it's going to separate again the longer it sits here. That's how it should work. OK, so in the packets, even though we can't see it, we still want to shake the packet and mix it up well. So nutrition, that's what this is. Um, it has essential oils in it, so it has. Um, orange, lemon, yuzu, and tangerine. So all great citrus oils that help detox our cells and clean things out, um, give us extra kind of that scrubber and um, extra vitality. And this has the right sugar and the right enzymes. So the right sugars open the door to your cells so they can communicate. And um, Ningxia has four of the eight good sugars in the world or on the earth. In addition, it has every essential amino acid and contains 13% protein. So it's literally the perfect designed food. So again, we talked about, you know, when do I take them or, or what do I do? So pick one. And if you're not sure which one, this should be it. Okay, start with Ningxia Red. Um, number two probably would be, in my book, would be Life Nine, actually, because you want to support your body and you want to really support your gut. And most of us are really gut deficient, okay? Um, and then, you know, I don't know, Omega Gize or um, Essential Zymes, you decide for yourself. Do I, need, does my, do I need more heart and brain support? Do I need digestive support? And really, that's really, um, I think, is determining for each person. So... Um, Hopefully, you know, if you start with one and then you add one the next month and add one the next month, you're going to give your body time to see, does this, does it make me feel better? Am I noticing any difference? Sometimes you won't notice a difference when you're, you know, taking them for a month, but then if you stop taking them, you'll be like, oh man, I'm achy now, or my brain is just in a fog. I don't know what's going on. Right. So if we're paying attention, then we really can um, determine what's, what is it that my body needs. So if you, um, if, if you're tr uh, trying, starting with supplements, if you experience diarrhea, back off one, 
Okay. I mean, listen to your body. Don't just go, oh, well, the bottle says take four. So I better take four. No, the bottle says take two to four. So I'm going to start with two. Maybe I start with two just in the morning. If I know I'm really sensitive to supplements. Um, I had one gal actually told me that with Ningxia, she could only drink an ounce a day or her kids thought she was on speed. I mean, it just gave her so much energy when she would drink two ounces and she's like, yeah, I can only drink one. But you know what? That one ounce was giving her body exactly what it needed. So that made it even more economical for her, right? So a couple other things. Um, you know, if you look through our catalog, there are pages and pages of supplements, okay? Or if you go to the website, there's pages of supplements. And we have some amazing products out there. Um, you, you take them as needed. You can, again, um, I would muscle test or I would kind of look through which one and what does it do for the body? And, and do, do I need that? Now, do I need extra, you know, maybe I need extra cardiovascular support right now. So then I'm probably going to look at cardiogize. I'm going to for sure be on omega gize, right? Um, if I need extra brain health, maybe I want to look at mind wise, or if I just need extra energy, I probably want to look at um, multi-greens. You guys, nobody, we don't eat enough greens. And this is, let me just tell you about multi-greens because I happen to have it here. This is a supplement that's a chlorophyll formula that works with the endocrine system, nervous system, and circulatory system. It's made with spirulina, alfalfa sprouts, barley grass, bee pollen, Pacific kelp, and even Melissa oil. Now, I don't know about you, but oh, several years ago, um, a friend of mine was selling spirulina and it was like the superfood. Everybody should eat, should drink spirulina, right? It's this really dark green, beautiful color, but it's this powder and we, we added it to water. So imagine, you know, and you stir it up and your, and your glass is dark, this dark grass green or even, you know, dark, dark green. And I, you guys, I tried to drink that and I about gagged. <laughs> I mean, it was like the nastiest stuff, brought, not the nastiest I've ever tasted, but it was bad. I can get all that goodness right here in a capsule and be like me eating fish again, right? I'll do my omegas because I don't have to eat the, I don't have to taste it. Doesn't have to go by my taste buds. So um, this is a really good powerhouse product. Um, Gary thought this was one of the most important and it's actually the first supplement he ever made, our founder. So multi-greens is a great, great supplement. Um, okay, four times a year also, four times a year with the change of the seasons, uh, it's actually recommended that you stop supplementing. Okay. So give your body a break and, um, you can do it for a few days. You know, again, you probably would want to muscle test. Um, some people would say, do it for a week and really give your body a break. I heard Gary say years ago that he like would every Sunday, he would just not supplement on Sunday and give his body a week, uh, one day a week break where it would just, you know, like I'm just letting my body work and clear and cleanse everything out. And then I can restart. That also might be a good time to re uh, muscle test and see, do I still need these supplements? Is this supplement still beneficial to me? Okay. Cause just like, or especially if you're doing extras, maybe you need to retest every Monday or every Sunday or whatever day it is of the week that you choose. And, you know, do I still need this? Is it still beneficial? Okay. Um, and is it still beneficial for me to take this extra? Yes or no. Would it be better to back down? Yes or no. And then listen to your body. Okay. Um, and make sure that you consult with your doctor before doing any type of fasting, um, and really a good time to talk to them about supplements as well. Just to, you know, make sure that nothing will, it shouldn't counter anything that you're on, but you always want to run things by your doctor too. Okay. And it might be a good time to educate them on the goodness of supplementing because some people just don't understand that. All right. Um, a couple other things, multigreen, or I'm sorry, we talked about multigreens, master formula. This is like a, a vitamin. Um, and they're all held to the uh, seed to seal premium standard. They are, it's an amazing supplement. It actually comes in a packet like this. So these are super easy to grab and go. Um, it comes with, you can see, hopefully you can, well, can you see there? It has two, it has a, two capsules. So they're like the powder capsule. It has one liquid tablet and then one hard tablet. Um, this is a full spectrum multinutrient complex. Young Living uses a unique process called uh, synergistic suspension isolation. So SSI technology that allows all the nutrients to be delivered in three distinct delivery forms. And this helps to neutralize free radicals in the body. And each of the vitamins are pre-packed packed in these little sachets. So they're really convenient for on the go. Okay, so 
if you're thinking, well, I, if I need, do I need this and Ningxia? My answer would be muscle test and you, you, your body will tell you if you need them both. Okay. Um, another thing, let's see, I'm just, I'm going to kind of skip a few things here. Um, I told you already that our young living supplements are all infused with essential oils. And this is a good thing. Um, they actually did a study on the, on multigreens with and without essential oils. So without oils, the body's blood absorption rate was 42% in 24 hours. Okay. Of the, of the good ingredients that spirulina and alfalfa and barley grass, 42% and within a day, within 24 hours with oils, it increased to 86% in one hour. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about with that bioavailability. The oils help our body say, yep, I need this. I know what to do with that. And it just takes it right in and absorbs it. So the conclusion was that the cells were now receiving nutrients that they had previously not been able to assimilate. And that's why we want supplements infused with oils. They are tiny um, molecularly. They carry the good stuff from the supplements through your body. And it's not about oils or supplements healing the body. It's about them as a tool to carry good things to the cells to support systems in the body and then letting the body do its own healing as it was created to do. Okay. Um, all right. So let me talk about really quick about kids supplements because we have a whole line of kids products. You know, our little people need supplements too, because they're probably eating the same food we are. And if we're not absorbing nutrients or getting good nutrition from our food, they're not either. Okay. So don't forget them. Don't think, well, that, you know, they're growing and they're eating more and they're doing, you know, they're, they're probably not. So Let's talk about, um, you know, we, again, they need enzymes, vitamins, magnesium, and probiotics. By the time they hit age two, um, they could be started on a regular supplement routine. I know some people who give babies, Ningxia Red, diluted, right? I mean, like six months or when they, when you start giving them table food, you could start really diluting this down. Um, and I mean, I'm talking like an ounce to seven ounces of water. I mean, I would really dilute it because they just don't need a lot, but it's a good way instead of giving them grape juice, which is full of sugar and no nutrition, give them a little bit of Ningxia. Um, so use your instinct. Okay. There are, um, Let's see if they're over about a hundred pounds or 12 over 12 or over, then it's okay to start transitioning them to adult supplements. Um, but if, you know, always use your judgment. So we have mighty zymes. These are chewable tablets. Okay. They come in this fun little, um, bottle. Okay. With the kid on it. Um, these are the enzymes. Okay. So enzymes and probiotics are the most important foods you can add to your kids' diets. And the earlier they begin, the better results for their gut. These contain enzymes that naturally occur in the body and assist the digestive needs of growing bodies. They help with the normal digestion of food and pull more nutrients out of what your kids are eating. So um, we, Mighty Zymes, we also have Mighty Bites, which this is a full range of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and phytonutrients that deliver nutrition to your child's general health and well being free of preservatives and artificial colors and flavors, but they taste like berries, okay? Um, these are both chewable, so there's no hard pills to swallow. And um, this has a natural folate uh, in it, it's available, and it's 100% it's certified organic, okay? And then for magnesium, we actually have this really easy to take pixie stick type of supplement um, called Unwind, okay? Man, kids have a lot going on during the, during the day, and it makes sense that their little minds don't want to shut off at night. And how many times have you said, go to bed, go to bed, go back to bed, and they keep coming out and they keep coming out, right? So unwind may become your best friend. This um, helps ease overstimulation, and it actually can work great with teens on cell phones, social media, YouTube, or games as well, or grownups. My husband actually has been taking these recently just to help him relax when he wants to go to bed. Um, so this is a, let's see, it features calming superstars like L-theanine, 5-HTP, and magnesium. And you can Google or DuckDuckGo for the benefits of those. And these are must-haves for bringing a sense of chill when energy is high. 
Um, these are recommended for ages four and over, and you get um, 25 of these packs in, in, a, in a box. If you're if you needed it for younger kids because they were just overstimulated, I would do partial, you know, um, portions of this, okay, and try it. Now this is a really strong flavor. I will just tell you, it's a watermelon flavor. Um, so I actually like to just pour. I wouldn't do it this much water, but you know, maybe a little bit of water, add it to that, and then it helps dilute it down for me. And then this is one of my favorites, and I forgot to grab the bag, but this is um, Pro the Kid Sense Mighty Pro, which is whoops, sorry, the probiotic and it contains a prebiotic. So this has over 8 billion live cultures in quick, easy, one dose packets that can be taken anywhere. This um, can be added to cold food or drinks for easy consumption. I like to just rip it open. This one I do like, it reminds me a lot of pixie sticks and it kind of tastes like that. So from my childhood, it brings me right back. Um, and I think these are super yummy. These support digestive health, immune health and supports the gut. So, um, for adults, we can take these two, grownups can take them, but you would want to take two a day instead of just one for the little kids, okay? So we just talked about eight, nine, 10 products, I think. Don't get overwhelmed with all of that. You start with one. So pick one, all right? If you, um, you know, again, doing something is better than nothing and getting in the habit of doing it every day and doing it consistently is key. So daily choices over time lead to massive change. And that's where you're gonna see a difference in how you feel, which is by doing it day by day for months. It takes 62 days to form a new habit. Once you've consistently taken Life9 or Ningxia for that long, you can say it's part of your um, routine. So um, outside of remembering to take a supplement um, by making it part of your routine, uh, let's end with just a little bit of science. Okay. Cause we want to know, how do we know if it's working, right? Every cell in your body is replaced about every four months. That includes blood cells. Every four months, everything is, it's recirculated. It's all brand new. Now I wish some of those fat cells would just kind of disappear personally, but they keep coming back too. Right? So <laughs> this means that top down in 16 weeks, you have a completely new body. You've shed the old and it also means there's four months of reprogramming that has to occur. So we can't make a huge decision on whether or not a supplement's working for us until after we've been on it for four months, okay? Then go off of it for a week, see how you feel, and you'll have your answer. The best way to test a supplement is to let it build in your system and then go without it. Uh, if you see any effects from a supplement that you don't like, drop it right away. So like I said, if you, you know, um, I actually used an essential oil once and my heart, I felt like my heart was racing and like, I was just, it was almost overpowering for me. And I was like, okay, I, I can't use that oil right now. Right. It's the same with supplements. If I feel like, you know, if, if I take a supplement and I instantly have diarrhea, I'm probably, you know, or within a few hours I'm in and sitting on the toilet, I'm probably going to either back down or stop this for a while because it's not what my body needs. Um, Okay, if you have negative effects, so stop taking it. And then actually it's recommended to take 30 days of sulfurzyme, which is a strong detoxifier, and then slowly reintroduce the supplement to see how you, you handle it. Sulfurzyme is another supplement and it's kind of that um, cleanser, overall cleanser. It does not have essential oils in it and it has MSM and sulfur in it, okay? Which is good sulfur from the, the earth sulfur, not man-made. Um, and it will help kind of clear everything out. If the, years, if the supplement, you still, after 30 days of sulfurzyme without the supplement, you still can't take it, it might be in that family supplements that, um, that you just don't need, okay? And that's okay too. So how you feel matters and you can't do what you were called to do and created to do when your system is always depleted. So get serious about supplements. It's part of your core health. And when we feed the body, um, we, a body can just work more effectively. And again, it's created to heal itself. So hopefully this was helpful. If you have questions, please get back with the person who shared this class with you, ask questions. That's what we're here for. You guys, we may not have the answer. I'm just gonna give you a little heads up on that. We may say, that's a great question. I don't know, but I will find out for you. Let me go ask somebody else 
and then come back to you. Okay. So we will get back to you um, because we really want to give you the best information. And that's one of the things I love about Young Living is that they, I feel like if I recommend a product, it truly is one of the best products I've come across. Um, and I know the quality of that. So I, I will stake my reputation on it, but there's sometimes still, I don't know the answer to, and I don't know why somebody's had a reaction or whatever. So I will go and find out and I'll come back and let them know. If you are not currently a Young Living customer, we would love for you to just create an account and you can order some of these yourself. If you think, oh my gosh, I really want to try that. Um, I'm going to do Nature Red and I'll do Life 9. We'll help you get started with that. And it's that easy. You now get to pick and choose whatever you want to start with um, or whatever you want in a month or every month, every three months, every six months, whatever. It doesn't really matter. You get to determine what's right for you. But if you truly decide to try some supplements, like I said at the end, expect to, you know, or plan to be on them and to really give them a chance to work for four months and see how you feel. Okay. Don't just do it for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, because that's not giving your body time to really make a difference. But when we give our body support and the support it needs, it will do amazing things. That's my goal for you is that your body performs amazingly and that you can truly live in health, wellness, and confidence that you're doing and providing your body with the, with the resources it needs to do that with. So thank you so much. And I hope you have a great night.